guys. Um, it's Saturday morning. Uh, it's just gone seven o'clock, and I don't know if you just saw up there, up in those hills, um, but there's snow basically. Uh, last night or yesterday afternoon, and last night we've had a massive southerly um, front come through, and it's dropped a crap load of snow up there in those hills. And it's spring here in New Zealand at the moment, so we don't tend to get snow in spring. Um, see I've got my jacket on and it's freezing outside at the moment. Um, basically I'm on my way to Lyle Bay and hoping to catch the uh, hoping to catch the tail end of the southerly. Uh, I've checked the wig cams and there's quite a bit of surf in there. Looks like the wind's still pumping so I'm basically making my way down to Wellington and yeah hoping to uh, hoping to get a session so um, yeah we'll get down there and um, suss it out so yeah see you down there.
literally a five minute session out there. Man, it is nuking. Um, doesn't look like much, but literally five knots gusting 40, just like that. I was so overpowered on my twin tip. Um, when the gust came through, I was just getting ripped across the water. Just couldn't even hold it at all. Um, yeah, I mean, I've kited in some sketch conditions. Probably tops, all of them. sudden this massive gust will come through and literally just rip you off the water just super sketchy so just going to wait it out like the rest of the guys over here and um, hopefully it swings more to the south and uh, gets a bit more consistent and yeah get back out there and uh, have another go but um, at the moment as it is mate that's I'm um, not even going to risk it Come show you my buddy. Oh, you're the man, bro.
Hey guys, so that was my session out at Lyle Bay. Um, as I mentioned earlier on in the vlog, the conditions to start with were just absolutely mental. Um, yeah, I've ridden that place a fair few times over the years, but today was just crazy first thing in the morning. Um, five knots, well, it got as low as sort of five knots, and then you get this massive 40 plus knot gusts just come in and want to literally just rip you off the water. So, a little bit intimidating at certain points of that ride, but obviously after waiting it out, um, conditions sort of steadied up a bit and swung a bit more to the south. And yeah, it turned out to be quite fun. A little bit frustrating with the boosting today, you go up um, with a good gust of wind under your kite and then all of a sudden it would lull out so you'd literally just fall out of the sky. But sort of persevered with that, took a few good frickin' poundings as well. Um, and unfortunately, like my last session, the batteries ran out um, halfway through my ride. I think that might be due to possibly um, batteries not liking cold weather. Uh, they seem to drain down quite quickly um, in extreme sort of cold conditions. So, but managed to throw together some footage for you guys to, to check out a while. Um, I always enjoy going down there for a session. Uh, just love the rawness of Lyle Bay. Um, we always get some good grunty sort of ground swells coming up from um, deep down south there and just heaps of stuff going on. Um, for those of you that aren't from Wellington and, and don't know much about Lyle Bay, you might be from um, overseas, please ask um, for local advice before you try and fly uh, Lyle. Um, if you're a learner, even intermediate level, I certainly don't recommend flying that place until you've you've got some really good skill sets because it can be extremely gusty um, and there are a lot of obstacles there. Um, we've got the road right behind us, we've got the Maranui Calf, surf life saving there, lots of things for your kite to literally get hung up on. Um, and we can also only kite halfway around the bay. Um, because we've got the Wellington Airport right there, we have to abide by uh, civil, civil aviation um, law, so we can only kite half that bay. So there is signage there. So please take note of that, and we have a local kite forum in Wellington where you can uh, you can post and get advice from some of the locals. But I just wanted to make a point of that because. Um, she can get pretty gnarly out at Lyle Bay. Uh, so yeah, one other little thing was um, saw, saw a sea lion out there basically. Saw this huge head, I thought it was a whale to start with, it was that big at the time, pop out. And there was a windsurfer in front of me, it was a bit closer to it. And um, he saw this thing and then turned and looked at me and I was like, damn, what is that dude? And uh, yeah, we sort of, I, I, I knew it was a sea lion at the time, but um, after coming in, uh, there was also this massive bobbing log floating around out there, and a lot of the guys had thought we'd just seen that, and I was adamant, no, we'd seen the sea lion. Um, the windsurfer actually came up to me after the session, and because um, we were edging each other on, and he was boosting, and it was good to see, you know, and uh, he said, man, did you see that sea lion? And I was like, dude, I... I thought it might have been a bobbing log, you know, I was questioning myself, um, but he's like, nah, that thing eyeballed me. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, we sort of, you know, we assumed it was a sea lion. It turns out that uh, it was a, a leopard seal, and um, he was having a bit of a sunbathe down in uh, Petoni the following day. and uh, I'm pretty adamant that's what we saw out at Lyle. So um, he was a big fella and yeah, he was probably having a bit of fun out there like us, but I definitely wouldn't have wanted to, uh, to hit him with my board or, or land on him or whatever, because he had a good set of teeth on him. So um, yeah, uh, being sort of south coast of Wellington, we do have a lot of um, rocky coastline and we do get sea lions and, and quite a bit of wildlife out there, but it's not often you see them in Lyle Bay itself. But uh, yeah, so that's a wrap guys for my Lyle session. Um, hope you enjoyed it and yeah, look forward to making another vlog. Who knows where that's going to be, but um, yeah, look forward to making the next one. Cheers.